Piedmont City Schools in Piedmont, Alabama, I'd like to say we're nestled at the foothills of the Appalachians, textile-based community, and those jobs are long gone. And so I think the most important thing we've done as a school district is we're changing the outlook for kids. Have fun. It's no longer, let's graduate from high school and hope we can get a job in the textile mill. It's maybe I can get a job in coding or I had a chance to take online foreign language classes that I never would have had an opportunity to and I'm really good at it. <laughs> We're giving our community hope and it may sound corny, but I believe it. You know, over the years, we've looked for technological tools to make sure that we're giving our kids the most opportunities they can have. Get done with that learning path, because remember, that's part of your grade. I can remember early on saying, if the worst thing we do is give a, a kid a laptop and then not just internet access at school, but at home, if that's all we do, we've done a great thing. But fortunately, that's not all we do. You know, if that's a level one, we're at level four, level five now because our teachers and our principals have been able to really take it to a much higher level. All right, here we go. They understand how to use technology to really expand the curriculum and personalize the curriculum. All right, so 14 of you knew it, so why well, I think that's probably what I'm most excited about. You know, to look in a seventh grade classroom and, and know that students may be working on 30 different objectives at the same time and being able to allow kids to move at their own pace. What we're trying to do is not easy. It's, it's really hard, but we've evolved hopefully beyond just changing education in Piedmont to being a, a model for changing education, if not in large districts, at least in rural districts across the country. Any questions, ask me myself or